Beware of Toyota Tacoma haters. There's always an agenda. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, beware of Toyota Tacoma haters. They always seem to have an agenda. You know, since I started doing this channel three years ago or three and a half years ago, I have discovered there is a group of people out there, Toyota Tacoma haters, that have an agenda. They're not just people who just don't like the truck. They're trying to push something. They either have a vested interest or something else. So I'm going to run through. There are five types that I've come across. Number one, other brand loyalists. And this one I really don't understand. You know, if you have ownership in a company, then I get it a little bit. You're trying to dog the other company so that you can drive sales to your company. But the people out there who are so loyal to a brand that they have no interest in just blows my mind. I mean, these are products that are being sold by a company. They want your money. And let's be honest, no truck, no car is perfect. There's always going to be a percentage that have problems. I don't care what it is. Always going to be something. The true test of a good company is how they solve those problems and how quickly they take care of them. But there are brand loyalists out there that will get on forums, YouTube channels, and dog the truck simply because they're loyal to another brand. There may be nothing wrong with the truck that they're against, in this case, the Toyota Tacoma, but they're still gonna dog it because they are diehard loyalists for something else. Number two, corporate plants. Now, in the world of politics, and we're not gonna get heavily political here, but in the world of politics, you know that there are groups of people out there that are most likely being paid to go out on social media and dog other vehicles, to put them down, to make them appear bad. They probably even mentioned some other brand that they're actually working for. You know it's happening out there. It's kind of like a, a covert set of people or a covert operation to discredit the number one, in this case, the Toyota Tacoma. They get on, they talk badly about the product, they list all these problems and things that they supposedly have, when in essence, most likely, they've never even driven a Toyota Tacoma. For you see, they're being paid. They're being paid to go out there and cause problems for other brands. You know it's happening, and I see it every now and then, somebody that gets on that is so vehemently against the Toyota Tacoma that it doesn't make any sense otherwise. It can even be someone who just works for the company. I mean, that is their bread and butter, right? That's what puts food on the table. So they don't want anything to happen to the company they work for, so they feel it's their personal mission to get out there and try to further their own company by taking down a different, a competitive company. Number three, the disgruntled owners. These folks always amaze me, really. You know, I get comments from people, they talk about the Tacoma, they've, they've just bought it, they haven't had it very long, and they're so disappointed with it. It has lag, there's no room, the seating's uncomfortable, the back is small, it can't tow enough, it doesn't haul enough. And the question I always ask these people is, didn't you test drive it? Didn't you spend a little time in the truck before you ponied up the money? Assuming they actually did. And the amazing part to me is, why did you buy it? They went ahead, they bought it anyway, and now they hate the truck, or at least they say they do. It just drives me insane when I get those kind of comments because I always think, why didn't you test drive the truck? Why didn't you do a little bit of research? I mean, as much social media as there is out there about the Toyota Tacoma, you can find out anything you want. You can get opinions from real owners, people who will tell you honestly, like me. I know the truck isn't perfect, I point out its shortcomings, but I do that from a driver's standpoint, an owner's standpoint, not to put the brand down, just real life experiences with the truck so anybody else who's looking out there might know what to expect before they actually buy the truck. Number four, the jealous. That's right, there's a group of people out there who are so jealous of the Toyota Tacoma Maybe they want one, they have, they've got something else, 
Maybe they want to get into modding and the mods and things for their truck are not as easy or it's not as readily available. So they turn the other way. And you know, there is an old psychological theorem or theory out there that says that people who are so against something really are for it inside. In other words, they're so against the Toyota Tacoma that really they're just jealous of it. They really wish they had one. And they're kind of working out their frustrations by going the other way. Crazy, just doesn't make any sense to me. If you want one, find a way to get one. New, used, leased, however you wanna do it. Number five are the greeners. The people out there who would do anything to defeat gas powered vehicles, particularly trucks and in this case, the Toyota Tacoma. We all know it doesn't get great gas mileage, right? I mean, I'm getting somewhere in the mid 14s, 15 if I'm lucky. So it's thirsty, it uses a lot of gas. The greeners would like to have the Toyota Tacoma and every other gas powered truck go away. They'd like to have us go solar, I don't know. They talk about electrics, but when you really get into the electric vehicles, how much does it take to generate that electricity? You know, there was a release of some vehicle out there recently. There was an interview with a higher up from the company. They were talking about this electric vehicle that they have, or maybe it was a hybrid. But somebody, one of the press asked them, well, where do you get the electricity for this car? And they said, well, from this building. And they said, no, 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 who generates the power? They gave the company. And then they said, well, how is the power created? You know, you could tell the person didn't really want to answer, but they had to, they're on the spot. So they said, well, I believe they burn coal. Burn coal, what? They talk about clean burning coal, and I'm, I'm sure it's better than it used to be, but come on, it's coal. Just in the manufacture of it with all the dust and everything else, and I am not against fossil fuels. Don't get me wrong, give me gas all day long. But the greeners would have you believe that it's such a horrible vehicle that you should get rid of it right away and they'll do anything to dog it. They'll get on forums, YouTube channels, they'll talk about how bad the gas mileage is, the emissions, all this crazy stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about some of the Toyota Tacoma haters and to beware, be aware of what you're hearing. Typically, these folks have an agenda. One more example I wanna mention, and this goes back to the disgruntled owners. There was somebody on my channel who had a Tacoma who claimed to have all kinds of problems with it. Went through the lemon law and returning it and all that stuff. They wanted to make it their personal mission to take away and, and dog the Tacoma as much as possible on my channel as they could. That was their whole reason for being there. Never a positive comment about it, even though they had bought the truck. And I would guess that in most cases, people like that, one, you can never please them anyway. And two, they probably cause some of the problems themselves. So just beware when you're seeing all this Tacoma hate out there, there's probably a, a reason behind it, an agenda. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Are these people out there? Are they doing these things for a reason? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators, currently the Mojave, the newest addition to that channel. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay aware out there. Bye.